I found the best jump shot in the game. I am shooting at an unreal percent right now with just an 81 three-point rating. And this jump shot I'm using, most builds can unlock. Don't believe me still? Well, we got footage to go over while I show you what the jump shot actually is the best settings to use, and what to look for when it comes to the visual cues when using the jump shot. So make sure to subscribe if this jump shot gets you more greens. Drop a like for more 2K24 videos, and let's get straight into this video. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H. Back at it with yet another banger. First, we are going to go over the settings, then I'm going to go over the visual cue, then I'm going to go over the gameplay and the jump shot combined. I'm going to basically tell you what the jump shot is throughout the gameplay, so don't skip around because then you're not going to find what the jump shot is, okay? Make sure to drop a like. This is the best jump shot in the game, and if your build does not get it for whatever reason, I feel bad because this is by far the best jump shot. I'm going crazy. Everyone else I see playing NBA 2K24 right now with a 78, 80, 81 three-pointer are shooting so bad they are missing wide open catch and shoots i'm out here creating my own shot shooting fades shooting from half court i'm going crazy so i had to give y'all the sauce okay now let's go over the settings right quick make sure you're subscribed by the way like literally go down below and check out if you're subscribed we're on the road to 1 million help your boy out it's literally free but before we get into all that good information for y'all here's a word from today's sponsor this video is sponsored by backbone now look y'all this device right here turns your phone into a control controller now backbone was kind enough to send me a package and the first thing that i noticed when i unboxed it was how simple it was it was basically just the backbone device in there and all i had to do was just stretch it out and insert my phone in so no matter what kind of phone size you have you're good to go and you can order one for apple or android devices but look as you might assume it makes playing mobile games a hundred times easier but not only that you could play a wide range of games from the apple store like call of duty mobile roblox and even console and pc games using remote play and Backbone also has an app you can download on your phone where you can start creating content for way cheaper. You can use the app to edit, record, and upload your videos. And it doesn't need battery and it won't drain your phone's battery either. So overall, if you're looking to play video games through remote play, have more freedom overall when gaming, or start creating content for really cheap, Backbone is a solid option. So make sure to click the link in the description to check out Backbone today. And thank you to Backbone for sponsoring today's video. Let's look at the settings. One thing you want to make sure that you do have on, which I actually only have on user only. I didn't put this on all shots is shot feedback. Okay. This is that little thing that's going to pop up in the bottom left where it shows like what coverage the shot was. Was it contested? And if you miss a shot, it's going to tell you if it was shot or early, late, slightly early, slightly late. And that's important because if you miss a shot and it's slightly early, you need to be able to see that. So you can be like, okay, I got to time it a little later, right? And then if it says like late, okay, I'm, sh I'm shooting this way too late. Like I, I got to release the button way earlier. So make sure you're doing that. And speaking of other things, you can try shooting with the right stick. I heard for some people it's easier. But for me, I shoot with the button, okay? So I would recommend doing that. You know, it's up to you, but I would shoot with the button. Um, next, you're going to want to go to controller settings. Now, they, these are very important settings, and especially this jump shot uh, cue thing, this visual cue, this is very important too. And a lot of people are spreading basically misinformation about this shot timing cue that we're going to go over. Anyways, vibration, you can have it on or off. I'm pretty sure online isn't going to have uh vibration on shots anyways so it doesn't really matter at least i don't be getting vibration even with it's on shot timing i would put this on shots and layups until you get used to laughs but we're talking about jump shots in this video so yes have it on have it on why would of course you're gonna have it on i don't think wait real does real player percentage work on i don't know but that's not gonna be as you know successful if you actually know how to time your shot and you're shooting the ball okay so make sure you have that on at least shots shot timing visual cue now there is push there is release there is jump and there is set points now i have mine on push and i would recommend that now release is basically when you release the ball right you can look at your hands uh that's when you would release the button when you shoot jump is like when you're jumping when you're in your jump shot that's when you would release it set point is like early like you're shooting it like before your player starts getting his hands in motion but it's not on the jump it's kind of weird it's in that in between um range but release um one of the better ones and so is push now a lot of people are saying like oh release is very late this one's early like blah blah, blah. that's not they're trying to compare it to the 2k23 visual cues don't do that okay but i use push okay 
and we're going to talk about where to time push later in the video but it's basically one of the later ones where it's right when you're as you're releasing the ball or right after you release the ball and i'm going to show you exactly when i release the ball in my jump shot cues later in the video we're going to talk about that next but yeah i use push this is personal preference though you can use whatever you want but i'm using push jump shot meter you want that off you get a 20 percent green boost with your jump shot meter off now if you need to put it on it first to learn your jump shot that's okay but eventually take it off especially if you have bad internet your jump shot meter being on is just going to make you a worse shooter if you're actually looking at the meter or if you don't have a monitor you're and you're playing on a tv it's going to make you worse because you're basing your sh when to release the button while looking at the meter and your meter is going to be delayed if you're on a tv or if you have bad internet like visually so just take it off okay take that off a uh, shot meter location i put it to the side of my player you can put it up by your head you can put it below your feet you can put it to the side you can i'm pretty sure you could put it above the rim as well uh but yeah shot meter size if you are going to use the shot meter just make it large why would you not make it as big as possible so you can see it better shot meter color this is personal preference you can do a wide range of colors but i'm doing green but what you do need to do is you need to go to animations next and then go over to customize hud this is going to be important for shooting as well now a lot of this stuff yes you might say is personal preference but it's going to affect your shoot for example a ball trail i find that very distracting so that would make me a worse shooter right but yeah there's a bunch of settings that you want to look at in here it's kind of hidden so you want to make sure that you do uh, adjust these settings you can you know adjust your green sound effect where the green is above your player you know by the rim you can change all that stuff uh you can even have like your greens not be visible change your player indicators your shot meter there's a bunch of different shot meters in here that you can use if you are going to use a shot meter same with location there's just a bunch of good settings that you want to make sure you do look at in here make sure your shot feedback is on and yeah uh you can even adjust your takeover icon so like you could put your takeover like above your player when you activate takeover in game so yeah a lot of cool settings in this little customized hud thing and it's kind of hidden in the animation so make sure you guys do check this out so one more thing before we get into what the jump shot is in the gameplay both at once we're going to be talking about the visual cue now i told you guys i put my shot timing visual cue at push this is what i'm going to be explaining when to time your shot is if you have that setting on push so don't listen to this advice if you don't have your setting on push so as you can see i'm just going to put a clip on the screen of my player repeatedly shooting the ball when i release my button is going to be based on my shot timing visual cue setting which is on push so for push for me i release my shot right after my player releases the ball so like a half a second after i release the ball is when i'm releasing it so basically when your player is like about to flick his actual wrist that's when i shoot the, or release the the button so when your player's flicking his wrist when you see that that's when you release the jump shot now obviously if you have a meter on none of this matters you can just look at the meter but even when i have my meter on i've never been a meter person that actually looks at the meter i've always just looked at my player which might be another reason why i'm good without shooting the meter or without sh with shooting with the meter off sorry i can't even talk but yeah make sure if you have the push setting on you're releasing your button as your player is flicking his wrist i'm telling you i'm ex very consistent with my jump shot i'm very consistent with this visual cue and that is the best advice i can give you with this visual cue if you have this setting push on anyways let's move on to the jump shots and the footage time to go over some footage from my stream last night and our first day of nba 2k24 now i'm going to be showing you guys each part of the jump shot throughout the footage that i show in today's video so don't just skip to the end because then you won't get the full jump shot anyways first play you see i go to the left easy great okay so we won for one and this is front of 5,000 viewers we streaking on the twos we're on a little win streak right we're about to be on a 10 game win streak and look at you know i'm moving around the screens my, my teammates trying to get teammate grade usually i iso but he was trying to get teammate grade so i was going around his screens and uh you see i got ribs but it's okay this dude misses we get the ball back easy catches shoot what color green come on this jump shot is smooth you can shoot off standstill jump shots you can shoot catch and shoots from the wing the corner the top of the key you can shoot from really really deep if you get takeover you can shoot off the dribble you can shoot face look at right off the screen quick little stop green like i'm telling you this jump shot is gotta be the most smooth jump shot in the game for any player like six four and above bro look at this oh behind the back we go on to the right take the easy dunk now i wouldn't have taken that dunk if i knew 
that I was going to do what I was going to do. Like, I didn't know I was about to have, like, this perfect game, right? Like, I'm, I'm just hooping. I'm literally just hooping. I'm not really going for a six for six game. Like, it just ha it's just about to happen, right? So I take another two, right? So we up 13 to zero, and I have three threes. Look at, I'm five for five. I'm three for three. We're showing no cuts, bro. We're not, we're not like these other YouTubers that cut out all their misses, don't show their records, okay? By the way, I'm like 52 and two right now. I'll pop up the record in the top right. But yeah, another green. Four for four, okay? We going crazy. 16 to zero. I'll pop my sharp takeover. You see the stats? We're not hiding nothing. My boy gives it back to me. Catch and shoot from deep. Oh, my God. We're like that. We can shoot from out there. By the way, this build gets no limitless range that I'm on. The build that I'm on has an 81 three-pointer, no limitless range. We shoot from out there. Bang. It's just like that. Eight for eight. Six for six from three. All 22 points. With the and the dude guard go was guarding me was like 85, 86 overall. Like he was upgraded. This is the first day of the game, right? I was going crazy. Like I didn't miss, y'all. I'm telling you, you gotta get used to this jump shot because this jump shot can green. So if you can't green with this jump shot, it's a skill issue. It's a skill issue. It's literally a skill issue, my boy. But anyways, the first part of the jump shot, the base is JT Thor. Okay, the base is JT Thor. If you can't get base JT Thor, then that's tough. Okay, you gotta be between 6'5 and 6'10 for the heights, okay? Uh, and yeah, you gotta have at least a 76 three-pointer or mid-range, so hopefully you got that. Um, but yeah, we, we, got, we got the JT Thor base. But anyways, we're gonna show you release one and release two later on in the video and the uh, combination, the percentages and all that stuff and the speed we have it at. But while we do that, or while we wait on that, let's show some gameplay. This was right, right as I'm recording this video. I was like, you know, let me get some extra gameplay for them. I went into the theater and we played some PlayStation players. Shout out to my PlayStation guys out there, my PlayStation supporters. So, you know, first play, I go out to the right wing. I miss wide open. You know, you it's not like you're not going to miss with this jump shot, but I mistimed it. It was on me. It wasn't the jump. It was on me. I mistimed the shot. Get the ball back. Any kind of space, I'm popping it. I'm not second guessing at all with this jump shot because it is that good, y'all. I'm telling you, it is actually that good. We go over to the right, easy shot, easy green. Simple, nothing, nothing crazy about it. Come on, if I'm open, I'm shooting, okay? Another James Harden slide to the left, green. 11 to zero, he better step up. And now I got a takeover now. I don't have any limitless range, but when you get takeover with this jump shot, oh, it's over. Now, I do mistime this shot right here. You're going to see. We shoot from deep. You can green that. I just mistimed it. But we get the board, and we shoot in the corner, and that's an easy green, okay? So the only time you're going to miss with this jump shot is, I mean, when you just mistime it, bro. And it's easy to time. Like, you're, I'm shooting I'm shooting 70-plus percent with the jumper pretty consistently. In the theater, I'm shooting like 85% green. 17 to 0, y'all. 17-0. He's got no answer. This is a lockdown guarding me, by the way. This dude is a lockdown from PlayStation, okay? 20 to 0. Sharpshooting takeover. Is he going to guard me out here? He better guard me out here. I'm over dribbling like crazy, too. I go over to the right from the hash. What color? Green. 23-0 versus a lockdown. That dude made a build to play defense, and he still can't guard this jump shot, y'all. What does that say about this jump shot? 23 points, seven for nine from three. We're not cutting out no misses. We showing the misses. We're not cutting that out. Release one is Oscar Robertson. You just have to be height under 6'10". Okay? So release one, Oscar Robertson. If you don't get Oscar Robertson and you do, I mean, actually, yeah, you, you'll get Oscar Robertson if you got JT Thor. So that's release one, okay? Go for Oscar Robertson, put it on. Now, while we wait to show y'all release two and the speeds and the combination percentages and all that, here's another game versus a PlayStation high flyer build. This dude's a level 31, six foot seven build. And yeah, let's show y'all this gameplay, man. I mean, like I said, raw footage when we show in jump shot videos. I'm not like other YouTubers that are going to clip up their best shots. They're going to hide their three-point percentage in the top right and zoom in on random clips because they're, there's the two three-point is going to show a 20. They're talking about they got the best jump shot. Bro, I'm, I actually have a good jump shot for y'all. Try it out. If you don't like it, in the comments, you guys comment. Maybe you have a jump shot that you like, Okay. And you just supporting the video because you a double a W supporter type shit. You know what I'm saying? Comment a jump shot you mess with. 
And if you don't like this jump shot when you test it out, you can go to the comments and see what other people are messing with, okay? So yeah, y'all see we cooking this dude. We're three for three on the threes. I'm not going to show no cuts. Now, on this play right here, I clearly over dribble. When you over dribble like this, the green window definitely gets smaller. And uh, I mistime it, and I don't get in that green window. And I miss, which is, I, I like that. That's how it should be, right? So 9-0, I got a takeover. This dude, you know, accidentally pump fakes. He wasn't confident with that mid-range. So... He has to take the contested mid-range. So we go over to the left. We're deep. But look, he's not guarding me. Bro, people are not guarding me hella tight, especially to start these games, because they're not, they haven't played someone that can shoot as, as good as me. They haven't seen someone with this jump shot. Okay, look at, look at how far I, he's not guarding me. He's He doesn't think I can shoot from here. I can literally pull from this logo, y'all. We pull up green, 15 to zero. Now keep watching how this dude is playing me. He knows I can shoot the ball but he doesn't think I can shoot from a certain distance with this jump shot. Or maybe he doesn't think I'm consistent. Look, I'm shooting for the logo green. 18 to zero. Okay, we not missing. This dude better, look at, I, now he just gave up. Oh yeah, he gave up. Look at, now we're shooting even deeper. 21 out, get him off the court. Come on, y'all. This jump shot is like that. I'm not, I'm going crazy. Y'all, it's day zero, day one. I'm shooting seven for nine from three back to back games. Y'all see me shoot eight for eight, six for six from three. Okay. Y'all see me doing on the ones court. You see me doing on the twos court. Come on. Release two is Sadiq Bay. Has a very good release speed. You can mess with the percentages once you see it. And maybe you like it, the, his percentage, uh, you know, lower or higher. But yeah. Put on Sadiq Bay for release two. If you miss release one or base, rewind the video. Okay. Now, these are some random clips with my jump shot on day zero. Uh, the, the, the day before the game dropped when everyone was, you know, going to those zing you know. Anyways, yeah. These are just some random clips. And yeah, the jump shot smooth. I talked about the visual cue earlier in the video. Make sure you look at that. We are using push as the visual cue. And we going crazy. You see, we got the fireball. I'm streaking up. Like, I have a 97 win percent with this jump shot. I am shooting 65% in the park, 85% in the theater from three-pointer. Okay, not from the field goal range, from three-pointer. I'm shooting. And this is day one. Like, bro, in a month, those percentages are just going to go up. Especially since I be, I be messing around a lot. Like, I be shooting, like, full-court shots trying to see how deep I can really shoot. So if I really care about the percentage, it can be even higher. Look at this shot. I mean, we're just fading off our back. Like I accidentally shot that. If you were in this stream, I literally said, oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. And I just grain it <laughs> right here. I just decided to shoot right over this dude's head. And yeah, you can shoot over heads with this jump shot. This jump shot go crazy, y'all. You can move. You can stop quick. You can, you can do it all with this jump shot. You really can. You can literally shoot any kind of shots you want with it. Okay. Now, if this once again, if this jump shot doesn't work for you, go to the comments. I'm sure my other W subscribers will, you know, be going crazy in game. Got some good jump shots as well. Look at, I have like half stamina right there, one adrenaline. We green it. You can green with uh, low energy. You can green catch and shoots, corners, every, everywhere on the court you can green from. Um, and this is one of the first jump shots I ended up using too. So I ended up actually finding this jump shot pretty fast. So I'm actually really glad I did. And JT. The, the the bases and the releases i'm using besides the releases the base i've never even used this base before so i don't even know if this was in the game last year but yeah this base is actually fire you see we shoot from half court i'm not gonna lie this green animation is disrespectful like they got me pointing at somebody after every single green but look here's the end of the jump shot if you missed the release to release one or the base go look at it in the, earlier in the video we showed it earlier in the video but we have 96 percent release one four percent release two so what i said was release one is 96 percent. what i said was release two is four percent we have the release speed maxed out okay you see the grades in the bottom right it's all a's we have one d minus which is timing stability but you see i'm shooting off those like weird shots those weird load ups and i'm still greening bro just put your shot cue on push and you're gonna be fine this jump shot goes crazy if you end up going crazy with this jump shot let me know in the comments i want your honest opinion because i'm doing good with it i want to see if y'all are doing good with it too and if you want to jump shot for other heights if you didn't get this drop a like on the video okay subscribe to the channel if this jump shot helps you guys out at all this year in 2k24 it's me your boy henry aka double h click on one of the videos on your screen and i'm out y'all peace